Hello. Unfortunately, my analog discovery have developed a bit of a problem. You see here when I try to connect the USB, um, it, it just doesn't work. Some, something has happened. I'm guessing the connector has gotten loose inside or broken off or something. Anyway, let's try open it and have a look. Okay, I think I see the problem already. This looks like part of the USB connector. You can see that. I don't know if that's gonna focus. Anyway, um, yeah, you can see inside the USB here, I hope. Um, there's nothing. So, no wonder it's not working. Um, gonna have to try see if I can desolder that and solder a new one in. So it looks like it's been glued on. These little red dots here. I had to get up before it was soldered. So, I might make it a little bit harder to get this off. And I have to be careful with the rest of the components because we do have uh, it, it, it's quite densely populated and we have lots of components on both sides here I uh, don't want to desolder that so I'll pop, I will have to use hot air I have to be careful with these components here they might come off when I start heating it anyway I, I think I'll put some some captain tape on it and see that might help uh, let's try that. I also need to check and make sure I have a replacement. Um, this is the micro USB. Uh, I really don't like those because they seem to break a lot easier than the mini USB. And really there's not much... Uh, it's not much space saved difference from using a mini USB and a micro USB, but anyway, uh, I have to replace it with a micro USB. Uh, let me just see if I can find one and we'll take it from there. Okay, so I found a micro USB socket. Hopefully it's gonna fit the existing footprint. Um, and I also found some of this uh, Captain tape. Well, that's what they call it. I don't think I think Captain is a brand name, but anyway, it's heat, heat resistant tape. So I'm just gonna cover it up here and the best I can. So hopefully, will not desolder any more components than highly necessary. Okay, so I got it taped up a bit here. Um, hopefully that will help. I don't want to have to resolder all the components afterwards. Um, so I think time to get the hot air going and see if we can get that thing off. Just get a little bit of flux on there. And ready for some hot air. I'm just gonna go slowly on it at first and then we can go a little bit harder after so it doesn't get shocked too much. Um, I, I don't do repairs very often so hopefully this will go well. I worry a bit about the glue.
Yeah, it's not moving. Okay, it looks like the glue has gone loose now. That should make it make it easier. So it looks a little bit like uh, I don't know if you can you can probably not see that. Uh, it looks like it's actually true hole mounted the outer part of the uh, USB connector here. So it's probably down into a huge ground plane, making it very difficult to remove. And of course it's lead free solder, so... Um, let me try heat it a bit more, see if we have more luck. There we go. Okay, so actually this... If you can see this, it's got like these two little tabs that actually go through hole instead of being surface mounted. Uh, that's not quite the same as the... Yeah, that that's not the same as the socket I have here. So I hope this is still gonna fit on. I think it can, but it's not gonna be as well mounted as before. But anyway, the old one f fell off anyway, so. So yeah, let me just clean this a little bit. Okay, so got my normal iron here. Just want to clean these up a little bit. Okay, you Fox. Let's see what you clean up. Okay, I, th I think I uh, just used the hot air again, uh, heat it up, put it in place, and hopefully uh, we can just solder it that way. So we can heat this up a bit as well, without melting the plastic. Sticky. Okay. I don't know what that looks like, but I hope that is okay. So yeah, it looks like didn't remove any other components. I hope there's some really small 201 resistors on here. I just need to do a quick check uh, and see if it looks okay. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, probably not get focus here. It's it's a tiny bit out of alignment from perfect alignment, but it kind of looks okay. Um, and it looks like it's been sold on here. So I think um, I need to try connect it to a computer and see if it still works. 
Okay, in my laptop, I uh, opened the uh, waveform software and I'm just about to plug in the device now, so hopefully it will detect it and see if it actually works again. Yeah, success. Uh, I can see here, comes up with a serial number and it looks good. Yeah, perfect. Success. Uh, so now I just need to finish assembling it and uh, successful repair. Okay, so now that we know it's all working again, I uh, just need to click clean and then uh, we can close it up and call it a successful repair. Spray a little bit here. See if we can get some of all that flux off. Else will get really sticky. It'll probably not do any harm. But it's nice to get it off. Okay. That's still a bit here. Okay, that's looking fairly good. Kind of close it back up. If I can do this correctly. Must be like this. Okay. There we go. Successfully repaired. Thanks for watching. Hope you're going to have a nice day. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.